हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे इन दिस लेसन आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द एम्स एग्जाम बेसिकली ऑल द डाउट्स एंड क्वेरीज एंड द क्वेश्चंस अबाउट द एम्स एग्जामिनेशन द एम्स एम बी बी एस एग्जामिनेशन आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सो लेट्स डाइव राइड इन टू इट सो वॉट इज एम्स सो इवन दो मोस्ट ऑफ यू वुड बी अक्वेंटेड विद द नेम एम्स आई एल जस्ट गिव यू अ ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू ऑफ इट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज एम्स सो बेसिकली एम्स स्टैंड फॉर ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस सो बेसिकली देर आर सेवन इंस्टीट्यूशन थ्रू आउट द कंट्री ऑफ दोज द मोस्ट प्रेस्टीजियस बींग द एम्स टेली एंड देर आर सिक्स न्यू एम्स दैट हैव कम अप सो दे आर सपोज टू बी द प्रीमियर मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूशन इन द कंट्री विच प्रोवाइड द मेडिकल एजुकेशन दैट इंक्लूड्स एम बी बी एस एम डी एम एस नर्सिंग पैरामेडिकल हेल्थ साइंसिस टू इन इंडिया सो दे आर द प्रीमियर मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ आर कंट्री सो एम्स एम बी बी एस एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इज कंडक्टेड ईयरली बाई एम्स न्यू डेली एंड इट्स बेसिकली ऑर्गेनाइज एज आई टोल्ड यू टू प्रोवाइड एडमिशन इन द सेवन एम्स इंस्टीट्यूशन इन द कंट्री सो नाउ आई टॉक अबाउट द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो as is for the as it was for the neat examination uh, the the candidate should be completing 17 years of age by the 31st of december of the year of admission okay so and the qualification that the person must have cleared class 12th exa- or the equivalent exam from any of the recognized board with the subjects english physics chemistry and biology as the four subjects and the minimum marks of 60% for the general and the obc candidates while 50% marks for the sc st and orthopedically physically handicapped candidates so the nationality like indian nationals and overseas citizens of india are eligible foreign nationals foreign candidates are not eligible to give the entrance exam and these are the few frequently asked questions about aims examination so as i told you it's conducted by aims new delhi approximately this year 1.5 lakh students gave this exam and the forms usually come around mid february the tentative date of examination is around the last week of may or the first week of june there is no age limit as such and to apply online you can apply on www.aimsexams.org and what is the minimum score required to qualify so it's 50% if you belong to the general category and if you belong to the obc category it's 45% and if you belong to the sc and st category it's 40% so what's the examination pattern like so it's a computer based test that's online mode of examination the duration is 3 hours and 30 minutes and there are 200 questions which has multiple choice questions and assertion reason so basically there are 60 questions belonging to the biology 60 questions belonging to physics and 60 questions belonging to chemistry okay and the marking and 20 questions are general knowledge and mental ability the marking scheme is plus 1 mark for every correct response and minus 1/3 mark for every incorrect response so basically the difference from neat here is that in neat it was plus 4 minus 1 and here it's plus 3 minus 1 so you are penalized more severely for every wrong answer so my advice here is like i i would advise you in the neat examination that you should be attempting all the questions okay while in this aims examination i will be a bit more skeptical and would like if i have nor- narrowed down if i narrowed down to an answer between two choices then only i'll be going for the option because by probability in this case i'll be having a positive more chances of get, getting positive marks from those questions rather than if i do not have any clue i'll be and i am you know 
trying to get answer a question out of the four responses out of the four responses that are present and i have no clue then there are more chances of getting negative marks so as for me i personally had attempted uh, 191 of the of the 200 questions and out of that i was pretty sure about 170 questions there were around 20 to 21 questions that i you know but i had doubt between two i had narrowed it down to two of the choices so i went through with it because there was a more probability that would that i would be getting positive marks from them rather than negative marks so i went through with them so you have to be more careful about the negative marking basically in short so as i told you the marking spe- the examination pattern so 60 questions in physics 60 questions in chemistry 60 questions in biology 10 questions in general knowledge and aptitude and logical thinking is 10 questions okay so that's it and you in these 60 questions in like physics chemistry and biology 40 questions are mcqs and 20 questions are assertion reasoning questions so this is the seat structure uh you can go through it i'll be like i won't be covering it that much like in a lot of detail so just go through it this is the seat structure this is the amount of seats that are present in the seven aims like delhi bhopal patna jodhpur rishikesh raipur and bhuvneshwar so basically aims delhi has a total of 107 seats but while the rest of the six have a total of 100 seats 50 for general 27 for obc 15 for st and 8 for st and aims delhi has seven seats for foreign nationals as well so that's not important so a total of 707 seats are present so what's the strategy strategy to crack it basically so the all the points that i emphasized on in my neat lecture will be valid here as well okay all of them are valid here ncert is your bible if it becomes even more important in the assertion reason questions so if you are if you do not know what the assertion reason questions are basically they'll be giving you a statement they'll be giving you two statements first is the assertion and second is the reason okay so the assertion and and the cho- and the options would be the four options would be the same the assertion and reason both are correct the first option would be assertion and reason both are correct and assertion is the and the reason completely explains the assertion and the second option would be the both are correct but the reason does not explain the assertion the third would be the reason is wrong the fourth would be both of them are wrong so there is no option for like assertion is wrong and the reason is correct this is not possible so this is the these are the most trickiest questions and the differentiating factors of the aims examination and to get an edge you need to learn ncert of physics chemistry and biology by heart because the fact is that a lot of times what they do is they pick up lines from the ncerts of these three subjects and put it replicated as such in the aims examination paper so if you know the two lines it becomes very easy it becomes bread and butter for you it becomes very easy so ncert is even more important in this examination and so as i told you practice is also very important so the the funda or the strategy to crack it is that you need to pre- be preparing for the neat examination for the whole of two years okay and then you have an additional one month to prepare for this aims examination so what what problem what mistake do usually students do that they think that they do not have a chance in this aims examination which is not true as i told you there are a lot of seats now and it and it's relatively easy to get into not it, it used to be very difficult when there was only aims delhi so only like 35 seats were there 
but now it's not 35 seats for general and overall 72 seats were there now it's not the case it's much more easier okay what you should do is utilize the time that you have between the NEET and the AIMS examination so approximately one month mostly you need to utilize that time and what do you need to practice in that time you basically need to practice previous year AIMS questions buy a book of assertion reasoning and also you can get a book uh, for general knowledge as well okay uh, and one of the books I would suggest for assertion reasoning and general knowledge is aim for aims general knowledge book by Ajay Mohan Dr. Ajay Mohan so he's a senior of mine and it's a very good book it's one of the best sellers in this category and I have personally gone through it it's a very good book so you read that and you need to be you know thorough with what all is going around you basically like you need to keep on reading the newspaper for these two days like they like it helps basically you need to be aware of what all is going on and these general knowledge questions were the x factor in my exam they were the key okay usually if they they improve your rank they are not necessary for you to get a selection they basically improve your rank and they do not have a much difference because out of the 20 questions usually people are not able to get more than 10 right okay so if you get getting 15 rights you have you have an extra edge over other people so make sure that you try to achieve it by just reading the newspaper every day for the two like for the two years okay keep on reading the newspaper go through go like and have an look you know have understanding of the environment around you what's going on in the world just take care of that and the most important thing as i've told you before as well the assertion reasoning they are the ones that differentiate a person who is selected and a person who is not they are the key here okay the assertion reason are the key and for that the best way to prepare is to read the ncrt line by line try to buy heart it that is the key and there is another important thing that i would like to focus here that the emphasis or the weightage of biology is reduced and the weightage of physics and chemistry is much more in aims exam than any other medical entrance exam so you need to be thorough with your concepts in physics and chemistry and a person who has a good knowledge of physics and chemistry only would be able to get a good rank in the aims examination so these are the points that differentiate the aims examination from the neat examination okay you need to basically do not prepare differently for the two years or the one year uh, for neat and aims the preparation is the same the chapters are almost the same only need you need to do the only thing is only the difference is that you need to you know work hard in the one month between the NEET and the AIMS examination that would be the key and you need and in that one month of examination one month between the two examinations you can practice the questions previous year AIMS questions previous year assertion reasons okay try to revise the NCRT once again and try to get an overview of the general knowledge and whatever is going through going around you that's it and as always i've told you stay in good health stay positive and do not give in to anxiety and stress so that's it guys for this lecture stay tuned i'll be coming up with more lectures okay thank you and peace out